what this looks like, balance the delta. I always, I jokingly love to use this example because it's always the smallest number of patients in the U.S. You know, there's not many of us balance the delta out there. Uh, haha. But looking at a balance of delta, prospective risk high, impact ability score high. Uh, what what socioeconomic demographics look like? It's predominantly female, college degreed, uh, median age 42, uh, um, and they sit in that sort of 50 to 100k level in terms of spending. But then over to the left, we have where we have clinical attributes. Now, not all of them. Obviously, this slide doesn't it, it's not able to show everything, but. We've had a number of clinical attributes, including inpatient utilization, ER utilization, number of chronic conditions. And we've got some dollar amounts attributable to those. We've got some scores and or metrics or scorecard attributable to those clinical attributes. Ultimately, there's a lot of metrics that we, are, that we provide to our clients behind the scenes that, that could be sliced and diced in a number of ways. But ultimately, it rolls up to that prescriptive, uh, prescri uh, prescri prospective risk score an impactability score. And they want a scorecard. They want to know how how um, how can I penetrate the client uh, the patient population, and what does that mean from an impact of care, and does it drive my expansion of 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 of, uh, of my messaging and of my um, of my medication uh, com compliance and adherence across the board. Uh, conversely, with the payer, they're looking for that same conversation. Of course, they're looking to drive costs down. They're looking for lower inpatient utilization, lower ER utilization, lower number of chronic conditions, and better handled. So there's a partnership there uh, that further drives expansion um, between the two organizations. So, um, with, with that said, I can talk for days on this. Um, uh, we'll talk about tactics in just a moment, but I'm going to hand it off to Mark to take a little bit of a deeper dive uh, in, terms of, in terms of the personas and the metrics around them as well. Thanks, John. Um, it took the follow up on on the previous slide that John just talked about this particular slide here uh, is an example of the personas and some of the metrics that we actually calculate for each of the persona types during our back end analysis and, and this slide represents uh, seven personas, but depending on the data set and therapeutic area that we're analyzing, we may have uh, fewer or more personas. For example, we might have you know, four or five personas, or we might have nine or 10 personas. It really is uh, based on the actual uh, data and the therapeutic area. Uh, for example, rare diseases might have a few personas, and uh, uh, other disease areas might have more personas. But some of the metrics that we're looking at, as John mentioned here, would include things like number of chronic conditions, the inpatient utilization, emergency room utilizations, uh, inpatient per member per month uh, payments, uh, ER per member per month payments. And certainly there are many other additional metrics we calculate as well. Kind of think of this as kind of the back end uh, analysis that comes up with that prospective risk score that John mentioned on the previous slide. Um, as you can see by the risk legend up at the top left corner of the slide, uh, the color of each symbol represents the, the medium risk score, and the size of the symbol represents the volume of the metric per individual cluster. So if we took a look at one of these, for example, the high-cost baby boomers up in the far right corner, we can see that that particular metric number of chronic conditions for high cost baby boobers are, are both uh, very high in the risk score and high in the actual number of chronic conditions. So if that's a particular segment that you need to focus on for whatever reason, you know, now we know what their risk score and chronic conditions are. So by looking at the particular table here, you can identify both the predominant risk scores and the utilization or cost associated with each of the persona types. But typically we would provide a single scorecard, if you will, uh, or risk value per persona type. However, we do have the ability to provide much granular level data as well based on the client's needs. Mm -hmm.